Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a foundation review for you on the new NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint. And I picked this foundation up from Sephora and I paid $44 for the foundation. And I picked it up in the shade Dark One Polynesia. And I have not worn this foundation. I will be wearing it for the first time today. And I'm going to be applying one side with a brush and one side with a blending sponge. Just so you can see how the application goes with both the brush and the sponge. I'm going to go out and do everything that I have to do today. And I'm going to check back, with, check back in with you guys throughout the day. And then I'm going to check back in with you one more time before I take my makeup off at the end of the night. Just to let you know my thoughts and reviews on this foundation. So if you guys are interested in seeing my thoughts and reviews on this foundation as well as a demo, then keep on watching. Alright guys, so I've already moisturized my face and now I'm going to use a primer and today I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'm just going to put this primer all over my face. Alright guys, so my, my primer is already on and as you can see I have my eyes and my brows already done and like always whenever I do a foundation review I try to keep it really simple with the eyes just so I can focus on the foundation. So today the foundation that we're going to be talking about is the new NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint and I picked up the shade Dark One Polynesia. I'm just going to open the box and show you how it looks. And it has the name right here. And as you can see, I haven't even popped this open yet. So I'm going to be popping it open for the first time on camera. Just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. Well, let's shake it up first, I guess. Alright, now I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand, just a dot, and it just looks like that. And that's how foundation looks really creamy. So, how I'm going to be doing this, I'm going to apply one side with my Real Technique Beauty Sponge, and I'm going to apply the other side with a Morphe M439. And I'm going to go out, do whatever I have to do, like always. I'm going to check in with you guys throughout the day. And then at the end of the night, before I take my makeup off, I'm going, I'm going to give you my final thoughts and reviews on this foundation. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so it says that this oil-free formula wears comfortably, maintaining skin's natural moisture barrier while working to control shine throughout, throughout the entire day. Transparent blurring powders to help blur imperfections, even the look of skin tone, and smooth the appearance of pores and fine lines. The powder's unique spherical shape compresses like a cushion, delivering a velvety smooth, touchable feel, and superior comfort of application. Alright guys, so here's the foundation applied to the right side of my face with a Real Techniques Beauty Complexion Sponge. So this is the side with the foundation. And this side doesn't have any foundation. So now I'm going to apply foundation to the left side of my face using my Morphe M439. So let's get started. Alright guys, it also says that vitamins C, E, and broad spectrum of SPF 30 protects against free radical damage caused by environmental stress. Simply touch and go for an effortlessly perfect look. 
So this foundation comes in 12 shades and I did pick up the darkest shade and it says that this is an oil free skin tint to protect and perfect with the soft matte finish. Alright guys, so here is my face with the foundation applied to the left side. It has a really decent amount of coverage and I don't know, it looks more like a foundation than a skin tint to me, but it is lightweight. So here's my face with the blending sponge and here's the side with the brush. I really don't see a difference in the application. Well, I mean, I guess, I don't know if you can see, but I have some scarring right here. Didn't cover that up. And I also had a scar on my jaw from a, um, a bump that I had earlier. And I don't know, it did a really good job of covering it up. So I'm going to finish off the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. All right, guys. So I am back with the rest of my makeup done and it is now... 11 16 a.m. and I'm about to get out and start my day and I'm going to check in with you guys in a couple of hours just to let you know how the foundation is holding up and if I like it or not whether it's too heavy or not it's supposed to be a skin tint it feels really nice it feels really light on the skin like I don't know I really don't even feel like I have anything on so I really like the foundation so far so I'm just going to get out in the elements and wear it today and I'll check back with you guys in a few hours all right guys, so it is now 4.07 and I am doing my check-in. I've had the foundation on for about five hours now and it is holding up really good. As you can see, it's not sweating. It still looks exactly like it looked when I put it on. So I really like it so much. So I'm going to see how it holds up throughout the rest of my day and then when I get back home and it's time for me to take my makeup off, I'll do another check-in and let you guys know how everything is going and I'll give you my final reviews on this foundation. Bye! Alright guys, so I am here to give you my final thoughts and reviews on the new NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint. Now. To start off, I really love the fact that this skin tint comes with an SPF of 30. So I feel like this would be a really good skin tint to wear in the summertime. Now it worked really well for me. The only thing that I was kind of worried about was it being a matte um, foundation or skin tint that, you know, it would show my dry patches, but it didn't. I moisturized really well before I put the foundation on. So what I did was I cleansed my face and I put four drops of my Tarte Maracuja Beauty Oil and I just massaged that into my skin and then I used a moisturizer. So my skin was really moisturized. I didn't have any dry patches and I got so many compliments when I wore this foundation today. Like everybody wanted to know what I was wearing. The foundation is super lightweight. Like, I'm not going to say you don't feel like you don't have anything on the skin, but the foundation is definitely comfortable to wear. Like, it is really comfortable to wear. I didn't get, it was like 78 degrees here today. And, you know, I didn't get really oily. I didn't get really sweaty with the foundation. And, you know, of course, I didn't have any oils to break through. And the foundation actually is still looks the same as when I put it on. I actually think the foundation looks better as the day goes on. You know, as it sets into the skin, the foundation starts to look better to me. Now, I know that, you know, everybody's different. And I know that I've been seeing some reviews on YouTube where, you know, people with oilier skin, their oils will start to break through. But as far as my situation goes, I have really dry skin. So I was kind of worried about the dry patches showing with this foundation. But like I said, I moisturized really good. And the foundation did an amazing job throughout the entire day. Now I put the foundation on around maybe 11, 11, 15. And it is now 6.36. So I'm getting ready to take off my makeup. And I've had the foundation on for maybe 7 hours. 
and I think that the foundation held up really well. So yeah guys, that is my review and thoughts on this foundation. If you've tried this foundation out, let me know what you think about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos from me. Until the next video.